Hola, Botar Mundu. The weather has taken a turn for the grey. The wind is picking up. <laughs> we are actually thinking of leaving Fosda Radio today, possibly tomorrow. It's not 100% clear right now. We have some washing to dry, but I don't think it's going to dry, so we're thinking about taking it to the laundrette locally. We are just having a little drive around the area at the moment. We're looking at some residential areas and there is a school in the area that would be possibly quite nice for story. So we're just checking out a few places today and we're currently driving towards Obidouche. After all our adventures with Uncle Omar, we thought it would be nice just to have a nice relaxing day today. So we're not doing too much. We've just been wandering around and we found this place. It's a winos with little pots attached to the sails. Can you hear that? They're making a song. Let me turn off the car so you can hear it properly. It's nice to know that even this close to the coast and to Caldasterania, there's countryside, quiet areas, there's hills, there's Muinoches, so it's got a little bit of that central Portugal hit. Yeah, you don't have to go too far out of the town to find somewhere a bit more rural. Exactly. I mean, look how quiet and green this area is. The trees are different here. You don't get this kind of tree in central Portugal. They look a bit more like an Alentejo tree. I like those trees. Yeah. Right, we've had a bit of a change of plan, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a super sleepy baby right now. So we've come straight to the park and we're going to keep you in your chair for the first time <laughs> in ages. Yeah, we don't often use the doona anymore, purely because when we are out with Story, she generally wants to get out and walk, so we end up pushing around an empty chair the whole day. But right now, she hasn't fussed to get out, so we're just going to leave her in it and see how long she stays in it for. She's quite happy at the moment, singing a little song. <laughs> Someone's woken up. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're ready to get out. <laughs> Sign says, coffee is always a good idea. Especially right now, because I'm feeling super sleepy. Story's escaped already. Oh, there's no stopping you, is there? Full of wonder. <laughs> I really like the inside of this cafe. <laughs> Saying hello to the men outside. <laughs> the world is your playground, eh? Hey, sorry, that's not for dipping in there. Mummy doesn't want any sugar. <laughs> it's not a spoon. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm loving this bicycle up here. Part of the decor. Story's nibbling on a cake. Oh, you don't, she didn't like that. You don't like the powdered elves. Every time I come here, I see people having business meetings. Got well, someone over there with their computers out, suits on. There's a couple of people over here who look like they're having a little meeting. And outdoors as well, there was people looking around having like little meetings too, isn't it? I guess they've got big tables, haven't they? Lots of coffee, beer. It's quiet during the day. I guess it's more of an evening place, like dinner and wine. Yeah, a bit of a bar in the evenings, yeah. <laughs> right, we're out of the restaurant now. We've just spent the last five minutes or so trying to work out what this place is actually called. It doesn't have a name does it Story? What have you seen? Oh, Eden. Is it a doggy? Yeah we. <laughs> Good girl. Use your feet. What are you gonna do, Story? There's two choices. <laughs> you went for that one. Is it fun to chase the pigeon? 
Oh, he outsmarted you. He went through the gap, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he knew you couldn't follow. What have you found? Oh. Trees? You like that tree? Yeah. Do you know who else used to like that tree? Your granddad used to like that tree. Whenever he saw them in Thailand he'd say, oh look at the camouflage. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Check him out. First time we saw one of these was actually in Australia story. Story. Did you know that mummy and daddy used to live in Australia? Yeah? For six months, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Wee. Yeah. Bertie. We've lived in quite a few places around the world. Maybe you will too. Look, the pigeons are coming in. Yum. Uh oh, they're all coming in now. <laughs> They've heard rumours that baby story doesn't want her food. It's a really vibrant beak that. Story, you are surrounded by burdens now. This is your dream. Oh my goodness. Is this your dream? Oh my goodness, they're all coming. <laughs> I don't have enough bread for all of you. Oh. Look at them. Is that interesting? Oh. Hello, birdie. Oh, you're in my books. Oh. <laughs> oh, he might peck your hand. He thinks you got bread. Yeah. <laughs> Bye to the burden. I'm off. We've just come across this angel's trumpet tree and I'm filming this specifically for Irma because this is one of her favourite flowers. Well, Jay's mum has many favourite flowers but this is definitely one of them. Sorry, we show Papa this. It's nice, isn't it? No. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> they smell really soapy, these ones, like fresh soap. And I'm not sure what this flower is here, but I just walked past this bush and it smells absolutely divine. It smells like fresh laundry. <laughs> we're done in the park now and we're going to start heading back home. We've noticed there's three people here just sitting in the park reading books. It's nice. I can imagine if we lived around here, we'd spend quite a bit of time in this park. Story seems to love it. When we first arrived in this park, we said to Story, do you want to go to the play zone, the play park? And she went, no. <laughs> and so we just walked her around. And she's had a wonderful time just playing around in the actual park. Just picking up sticks. Yeah, just enjoying being in the park, which is really nice. <laughs> I'm glad you can entertain yourself, Story. Oh, I'm a bit worried about this stick. Though. Yeah, I know. She keeps putting it in my face. It's an eye poker. Oh. <laughs> and this is what happens when we bring the pram with us. <laughs> we just end up pushing around an empty chair. She refuses to go back in. Never mind. Get some exercise, Tess. Yeah. <laughs> Carry her back to the car. We're just dropping the laundry off at this self-service laundry place here. It shuts at eight o'clock, so we've got plenty of time. You okay? Yeah, 40 minutes, medium heat. Same as <laughs> R1 in Mortagua. Great, I think this is new, isn't it? I don't think this was here before. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. No, it's useful though, we need mm. it.
So I'm just packing up the car to leave. I don't think we're gonna be able to leave tonight, but we'll go early tomorrow morning. The story's got a doctor's appointment, so we can't miss it. Hope you've enjoyed all of these videos from Foz de Radio. We've really enjoyed our trip here. Don't forget if you wanna see the weekend vlog so you get to see all of our adventures, including our trip to Lisbon with Omar and Hael. Click the link up here to become an eight miler or in the description below. And it really supports our channel. And we will see you next time. Bye. Guess what? That's yours. Thank <laughs> you.